Good morning, my fellow Canadians. Well, here we go again. Teflon Trudeau strikes again. Now, I'm not surprised uh, that Trudeau's special rapporteur gave him a whitewash. There are several constants in this world. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The tides rise and the tides fall. Trudeau lies. These are like constants. You can take this to the bank. This is just immutable law of nature. Trudeau has no morals. He has no ethics. He is an arrogant, spoiled buffoon. Now, the fact that Johnston whitewashed Trudeau, that doesn't bother me. And nor surprise me. The fact that Trudeau has been given a pass by his um, ass-kissing bum buddies, that doesn't surprise me. Before this hearing even took place, as soon as you read Johnston's pedigree, you knew what the result was going to be. I knew as soon as I read the man's pedigree, I knew that Trudeau was going to get a pass. Uh, it's the same thing with the hearing regarding the uh, truckers' convoy, the freedom movement. Look at the judge they appointed. You know, um, when Brenda Lucky was uh, in charge of the RCMP, was there ever a prosecution brought, even where there were illegal actions on the part of Trudeau and the Liberal government? No. If you own the press and you own the police, who holds you accountable? And the end of the end of the story is nobody. You are unaccountable to any legislative body. Jagmeet Singh, as we all know, just props up Trudeau so he can get away with anything. And until we see a conservative government, this will continue. It seems to me that Trudeau and his liberals, with the willing help of the NDP, seem hell bent on doing as much damage to this country as possible before they are turfed out of office, because I think the, the handwriting is on the wall. I think they know they're done. I think Jagmeet Singh knows he's done. So instead of trying to mitigate things, they're going to do what they always do. They will do as much damage as possible, and just in the next election cycle, they will start spinning, downplaying their ethics and morals violations, and start uh, opening up the purse strings and throwing candy to the brainless sheeple out there who will then vote, they hope, Liberal or NDP. What bothers me about all this, about this latest piece of stupidity, is how overtly blatant the corruption is with a total lack of concern for perception on the part of the Canadian people. Yes, I'm screwing you, but I'll just say I'm not. And people said, oh, well, he's not screwing us because he said so. Really? I've said this before, the Canadian electorate, unfortunately, sadly, which breaks my heart, the contempt that the Liberals show for the Canadian electorate is fully warranted and deserved. And I say that with, I could almost weep because in spite of their corruption, their lies, fiscal mismanagement, lack of accountability, I could go on and on. In spite of all of that, you still get brainless minions who will, who will push their agenda and vote liberal. Like, what do they have to do before these people will wake up? And, and part of me wonders why. People have adopted a position like, I vote liberal. In spite of all the evidence, I vote liberal. Okay, you're not interested in evidence. You're not interested in fact. You don't love this country as far as I'm concerned. 
Why won't you come off this? Is it ego? Is it pride or refusal to admit that you've been sold a bill of goods by the government? Is it stupidity? I don't know. I'd love to see someone like Jordan Peterson or Rex Murphy address this issue. But again, back to the contempt for the Canadian electorate. The last election, I think it was 46%. Remember that number. 46% of the electorate never even turned out to the polls. They were that apathetic that they never even bothered to vote. Partially, I blame the Conservatives, and specifically O'Toole, because he flip-flopped and waffled and basically did a tremendous amount of damage to the Conservative Party by his stupidity. Polyev is an entirely different kettle of fish, and I pray to God that he does get in. So if you have an electorate, I like I said, that you've deceived, blatantly lied to, blatant, overt corruption within your ranks, and they still vote for you, do they not deserve every ounce of contempt you heap upon them? My personal feeling, yes, they do. As a people, we do. So once again, Teflon Trudeau skates. And who pays the price for this? Canada and Canadians. If you love this country, if you truly love this country, as I do, and you truly believe that Canada has a future, a good future, properly managed, as I do, please, for the love of God, vote Conservative. Vote for Polyev in the next election. Because right now, from where I sit, from the standpoint of my advanced years, that's the only hope, the only hope we have of pulling Canada's chestnuts out of the fire, putting us back into respect in the international community. So there's my morning rant. Thank you, people. Have a great day.